Northeastern's Burlington campus is home to Coliseum, a project that's part of the next generation of wireless internet. Tommaso Melodia, director of the Institute for the Wireless Internet of Things, sat down with B News's Phil Gallagher to tell us how these servers are changing the way the internet works. The way wireless communications work today is that you take the um, electromagnetic spectrum, you divide it in lanes, those are the frequency channels, and then there are government entities that assign these frequency bands uniquely to specific users. Right? So there's uh, uh, specific frequency bands that are uh, um, used for, uh, uh, say, for airlines, for instance, things like that. Right? right. So they're used for radar, for example. Right. And uh, so there's, there's specific uh, DOD entities that can use it for radar. Some are used for weather radar. Um, some frequency bands are used for commercial wireless. Right. And then there's auctions and the different wireless operators, uh, um, you know, uh, bid to get access, ex- exclusive access to specific frequency channels. Melodia says the federal government has been exploring ways to use artificial intelligence to divide up the electromagnetic spectrum in more dynamic ways. They wanted to have different teams from, from around the nation, different academic teams, and there were uh, startups that were competing to develop the best artificial intelligence for wireless uh, algorithms. Um, and then they said, OK, we need, we need a common playground for this. Right? We need uh, um, sort of a, a, a device where these different teams can compete. And that's how they created the Colosseum. Now, Coliseum is located right here in Burlington, which means teams from all over the world are using these servers to experiment with the future of the internet. For B News, I'm Sydney Bowles.